Hello everyone, David Coleman, Director of the Whitliff Collections at Texas State University, and welcome back to Whitliff Wednesdays. A number of you have asked how the Whitliff Collections fared during the recent winter storms. I'm happy to say that we were very lucky. Our collections are fine, our galleries are fine, and the Buckwind mural still hangs proudly on the main floor of the Alkek Library. So please, come see us. For today's episode, we look at our newest literary exhibition and upcoming book project, both entitled Empantla Familias. Steve Davis, our literary curator, speaks with Sergio Troncoso, who edited the volume, and as you may have seen, began recently donating his archives to the Whitliff. Here's Steve to tell us more. Thank you, David. The Whitliff's current literary exhibition celebrates the brand new anthology in our book series. It's called Napantala Familias, and it's edited by Sergio Troncoso. This new book, which comes out at the end of March, is already drawing rave reviews, including a starred notice in Kirkus, which praises it as a deeply meaningful collection, an anthology that feels long overdue. Our new exhibition showcases all the writers who are featured in the anthology, and many of those writers have contributed precious family photographs that are part of our display here. The exhibit also features the major writers at the Whitliff who are also included in the Pantala Familias. Those are Sandra Cisneros, Severo Perez, and also Sergio Troncoso, who recently began donating his own literary papers to the Whitliff. Sergio Troncoso is a natural choice to be the editor for this volume. This native son of El Paso, is one of the leading literary lights of the American Southwest. He is the current president of the Texas Institute of Letters, the recent recipient of an International Latino Book Award. And I was able to recently check in with Sergio at his home in Manhattan, where he spoke about this exciting new anthology in the Willis book series. I think the best thing to know about this uh, great anthology is that it's um, it's brand new work by great Mexican-American writers. It's 30 pieces by 25 writers, and uh, only five of the 30 pieces have been published before. So most of them are unpublished. And we're talking about uh, writers like Sandra Cisneros, Jose Antonio Rodriguez, Rigoberto Gonzalez, Cheryl Luna, Deborah Paredes, um, you know, Diana Lopez, terrific writers. And um, it focuses on this concept of Nepantla. And Nepantla is a Nahuatl word that literally means in between, living in between existences, between languages, cultures, psychologies, um, geographies, between the old, the ancestors, and the 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 values they gave you and between and the the new values you're adopting as an American. And and I wanted to focus this anthology on on how this uh, in between nature of many Mexican American families, how it plays out within a family. Uh, and sometimes the, the there are clashes of culture, clashes of language, but also this messy resolution of finding your place when you're being pushed and pulled by many different um, things, including your your what language to use, uh, what values to adopt. So these the 25 writers all explore this this concept of Nepantla, and I was very choosy, by the way, in who whom and what I actually accepted in this anthology. I wanted the writers that I loved, the writers um, that uh, have been. Um, instrumental in, in changing my own craft of writing and the people that I would love to read. One of the things that, and I wrote this in the introduction, one of the things that's important to think about is that this concept of Nepantla, living in between worlds, is a universal theme. It's a theme that affects anybody um, who has fallen in love with someone who's different from their background or a different race, a different religion, a different geography. So this concept of Nepantla, I hope, will be very um, appealing to, to a reader that has nothing to do or is not Mexican-American, or of course, one that is, because 
Uh, all of us are crossing borders. All of us are crossing borders to understand other people, to understand other cultures, to understand other religions. And, and it gets to the fundamental issue that I think we have in our country, which is um, we are struggling to be a we at the moment. And, and to be able to stitch our country, our community together, we all of us need to be crossing borders. We need to be um, reaching out and understanding other people from other places. And, and this, is, this is what Mexican Americans have had to do. If you cross enough borders, if you go from Spanish to English, from the old world of your parents to the new world that you're adopting in the United States and create this hybrid self, it actually encourages and, and deepens your empathy for other people. Um, and, and I think that's at the heart of what this anthology is about. It's about increasing empathy for other people. You know, very future oriented, uh, focused on, on new work that has never been uh, available to any reader before, but also to try to stitch together this we that we are always struggling to stitch together in this country and do it through the Mexican-American lens.